Hi there, uh, my name is Tim Peckham. Uh, I'm a member of Hope Church. Uh, me and my wife joined just before lockdown started. Um, and then since then, during lockdown, uh, we have had our first child, Moses, who has also joined the church. So I'm sorry if I haven't met you yet in person. I'm sure we will in future when church gets back to being a more physical meetup than a virtual meetup. Um, but it's lovely to have you joining us today. Um, I'm here to give my testimony um, about how I found hope in, in Jesus. Um, my testimony, I would say, originally I thought was a boring testimony. However, through becoming a parent and, and seeing my child now, I see my testimony in a different light. So, I was raised uh, in a Christian family uh, in Guildford with my brother and my sisters. Um, we all grew up going to church with our parents um, and, and loved it through our childhood and, and young teens. Um, and I feel that, I guess I'd say, the reason I thought my testimony was boring is that for me, there was no prodigal son moment where I rejected Jesus and and went off and did my own thing, and and then then Jesus met me radically and changed changed my path. Um, however, as a parent, I see my testimony kind of more as an encouragement that actually, as a parent bringing up a child, that that actually not that doesn't happen to all people. That some people, Jesus will meet you from a young age through the example that your parents have set, and actually you'll be on that path and that journey from a young age, um, which is just the way that my life was. Um, so my parents uh, are both heavily involved with church. Um, they always have been since I was a young child and still are today um, with a church in Guildford. And yeah, we grew up going to church every week, um, doing uh, kids groups, then doing kind of teen groups and then Probably through my early teens, I had the pleasure of going to Urban Saints in Guildford. Um, and I know there's a couple of members from the church that have been part of Urban Saints or are still part of Urban Saints. Um, and some of them, unfortunately, had the pleasure of being my leaders when I was younger, um, which I'm sure they can tell people about. Um, I don't think it was a pleasant experience. Uh, I was a very energetic child. Um, but thank you to them. Uh, for being great role models uh, through my time at Urban Saints. Um, so Urban Saints every year did a, a holiday camp for two weeks called Summer Camp where we'd either go to Wales or we'd go to Cornwall and on this particular camp we were in Cornwall and I was about I want to say 13, 14 years old um, where I found my own hope in Jesus for myself. So I always knew who Jesus was, always loved Jesus and put my trust in Jesus, but that hope and that security became my own um, on that camp through the fantastic teaching that we'd had and the reflective time and the input from the other leaders. And it, it kind of clicked for me and I understood how amazing having that hope in Jesus was and through having that hope it brings quite a lot of joy into my life it's the thing that motivates me to get up every day regardless of what the day's like um, and it's been incredibly affirming and comforting especially through lockdown where the world seems to feel very different for us day to day um, but having that hope in Jesus and that understanding that he has a plan and that it's all part of his plan and that he's looking out for us is something that is incredibly reassuring. Um, and I think that's why I'd probably say my testimony was more boring because there was no massive turning point for me. For me it was a progression of having a fantastic upbringing from Christian parents, being in a Christian family, and then having great role models from leaders at Urban Saints and fantastic Bible input from Urban Saints that grew me closer 
to understanding what hope in Jesus looked like for me. Um, and I think the only thing I can leave you with is, have you found hope in Jesus yet? Thanks.